Welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's two port networks class two, we are going to see the basic problems involved with Z parameters and Y parameters. So here you can see a T network is selected and a Pi network is selected. For this T network and for this Pi network, how to find out Z parameters and Y parameters? So uh, we know from the uh, previous classes about Z parameters that it is tabulated as V1 is equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2. It's now open circuit parameters and V2 is equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2 as open circuit parameters. Where Z parameters or open circuit parameters can be framed in matrix form like Z is equal to Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. So with this basics, we will try to solve the problem of this T network. So which is shown in figure one, we need to find out the Z parameters. You have four, two and three ohms arranged in T fashion. So information what we know, we know that the Z parameters is given by equation one and two. So when V1 is taken as input on input port side, the current I1 flows in this fashion. And similarly, port two, it is having V2, which is supplying I2. So these are the open circuit parameters we need to find out. And this is how the current and the voltage are taken in a particular two port network. So when the output port is open circuited, means what? This, uh, this output port, it is completely open circuited, means what? This three ohms will go off and V2 will be measuring value of voltage across two ohms. So this is how the circuit looks like. Three ohms is the dummy here. So when it is open circuited, three ohms goes off and the figure one, it is connected to V1 supply and I1 is flowing into the circuit. So here you can see figure 1A is changed to 1B where I1 it is flowing into the closed circuit where you have V1 as input, four ohms and two ohms are connected in series because these three ohms goes off and therefore these two become in series. So once the current flows into the circuit, four and two, it becomes six. So I can say V1 is equal to six I. So what is Z parameter of with this particular equation you're going to get? You're going to get Z11, which is equal to V1 by I1. So V1 by I1, it is taken as impedance. So that value is nothing but the input impedance when output port is open circuited. So Z11 value here it becomes 6 ohms. Then we know that the current is 0 here but voltage is not 0 on the output port side. So voltage V2 will be the measurement across 2 ohms. So in this 2 ohms current it is flowing as I1. Hence V2 is equal to 2 I1. And what is the parameter which we are going to get, we are going to get the forward transfer impedance that is Z21 is equal to 2 ohms because Z21 is equal to V2 by I1 when output port is 0. So this is how we got equation 3 and 4 when output port is open circuited. Now when input port is open circuited, I1 becomes 0. So this is how the circuit looks alike. So this we are treating as figure 1C where current I2 is flowing into 3 and 2 which are contained in series. Therefore I can say V2 is equal to 5 I2. In fact Z22 is equal to 5 ohms because Z22 is equal to V2 by I2 when input port is open circuited. Also V1 becomes the measurement of voltage across 2 ohms. So this becomes V1 is equal to 2 I2 because, two, uh, because in 2 ohms I2 is flowing. So that is why it is V1 is equal to 2 I2. And hence Z12 which is equal to reverse transfer impedance whose value is V1 by I2, it becomes 2 ohms. So likewise we can form the Z parameters from equation 3, 4, 5, 6 is equal to 6, 2, 2, 5. Let me remind you that you have Z12 value it is equal to Z21. So this becomes a reciprocal nature of the circuit. When you have Z12 is equal to Z21, it becomes 
the reciprocal nature of this given circuit. So this is the basic circuit of two port networks in T form. You can see another uh, representation of a T network where you have two ohms, three ohms and S is mentioned. S is the Laplace representation of inductor. So this inductor is having value of one Henry and that can be changed to Laplace parameter as 1s. So it becomes S, simply S. Now we are going to employ the same technique what we employed for the previous problem. So I'm open circuiting the port to 2 dash or the output port I'm removing. When output port is removed, 3 ohms goes off and 2 will be connected in series with S. With this, you'll get V1 is equal to 2 plus S I1, where Z11 is equal to 2 plus S ohms. Similarly, V2 is the measurement across inductor, that is S, 1S. So V2 is equal to S I1. In fact, Z21 is equal to S ohms. Now, when the input port is open circuited, this is how the circuit looks like. With this, you are going to get the value of V2 is equal to 3 plus S I2 and Z22 is equal to 3 plus S ohms. And V1 is the measurement across the inductor, which becomes V1 is equal to S I2, where Z12 is equal to S ohms. So here also you can see we got the reciprocal nature of the circuit, where the Z parameters are S plus 2, S, S, and S plus 3. So it is a simple derivation under T network for over circuit parameters. If we go through the basics of short circuit parameters or admittance parameters when we are taking V1 and V2 as independent variables so that I1, I2 is replaced in this fashion. You can see uh, I1 is equal to Y11, V1 plus Y12, V2 and I2 is equal to Y21, V1 plus Y22, V2. With this, we got the values of Y parameters which is equal to Y11, Y12, Y21, Y22. So with the help of those equations, we will try to find out the y parameters for the circuit shown in figure 3. So for the y parameters, these are the standard equations and we have to short circuit the output port of figure 3 when we are going to short circuit the output port in this fashion as shown in figure 3a, the output port is shorted. So this resistance which is placed parallel to short wire, it becomes dummy and V2 is 0 because the output port is made equal to 0 that is why it is called as short circuit or V2 is equal to 0. So with this, I am substituting the value of V2 equal to 0 in equation 1 and 2. I am going to get I1 is equal to Y11 V1 and I2 is equal to Y21 V1. For this, I am going to get Y11 value whose value is I1 by V1 at V2 equal to 0. This I am treating as equation 3. And Y21 is equal to I2 by V1 at V2 equal to 0. This becomes equation 4. And this figure 3a is further modified to figure 3b. You can see this 8 ohms is dummy's nature. So it is shorted by a short wire. So in fact, because V2 is equal to 0, this is being applied across 8 ohms and that goes off and this is how the circuit changes from 3A to 3B. This is the important thing which you have to consider while dealing with short circuit parameters. So for this, I am calculating the R equivalent. Here you can see 2 ohms is connected parallel to 4. So it gives you the value as 4 by 3 ohms. So this is the value of R equivalent. When you are looking at from input port side, the R equivalent value is 4 by 3, 4 by 3 ohms. And we know that V1 is equal to 4 by 3 I1 because this is reduced and that is how the equation is framed. In fact, I1 can be treated as 3 by 4 V1. And what is Y11? It is I1 by V1 at V2 equal to 0. So this becomes 3 by 4 S. Now this is, this capital S, it is unit of Y parameters which is called as MOS or Siemens. Here this S capital S is called as unit of admittance that is Siemens. 
3 by 4 is nothing but 0 0.75 Siemens. Also, we know that from current division rule, we need to apply current division rule to this parallel network. We need to find out the value of I2. So, I2 is equal to total input current is I1. Why minus? Because I2 is acting opposite to I1. That is why minus I1. And for current which is flowing into ohms, for that the opposite parameter is 4. So, current division rule states that we have to take the opposite resistance by opposite by opposite plus same resistance. So, opposite is 4 divided by opposite again 4 plus 2. So, this is a current division rule. With this, I am going to get I2 is equal to minus as it is. Just now we got I1 is equal to 3 V1 by 4. So, I am replacing I1 with 3 V1 by 4 over here. With this, the like terms get cancelled and I am going to be left over with minus 3 V1 by 6. In fact, 3 goes 2 times. So, I2 will be equal to minus 1 by 2 V1. In fact, Y21 is equal to I2 by V1 at V2 equal to 0 whose value is minus 1 by 2 Siemens or minus 0 0.5 Siemens. So, this I am treating as equation 6. I hope you understood what is meant by this current division rule and why we employed in order to get the value of I2 in terms of V1. Now, I am short circuiting the input port. When input port is short circuited, V1 becomes 0 and 4 ohms it becomes dummy in nature. So, that is removed. In fact, this is the reduced circuit. In fact, figure C is the reduced figure of figure C when input port is short circuited. So, with these two equations 1 and 2, when I am going to employ V1 is equal to 0, I am going to get I1 is equal to Y1 to V2, I2 is equal to Y2 to V2. In fact, Y12 formula will be I1 by V2 at input port is input port voltage is equal to 0 and Y22 is equal to I2 by V2 when input port is short circuited. Now from this R equivalent, I mean I am looking out from the port 2 or from output port, when I am looking at through output port, this 2 becomes parallel to 8. In fact, R equivalent will be equal to 8 by 5 ohms. So, in fact, I can replace this figure 3C with an equation V2 is equal to 8 by 5 I2 or I can write I2 is equal to 5 by 8 V2. In fact, Y22 is equal to I2 by V2 at V1 equal to 0. Just substituting the value, I am going to get the value of Y22 which is equal to 5 by 8 Siemens. So, let us take this value as equation 8. Again from current division rule. Now, I want to know the value of I1 in terms of V2 and I1 from current division rule can be written as the total current that is I2 multiplied with opposite resistance 8 ohms divided by some of these two resistance that is 8 plus 2 Y minus sign because I1 also it is acting opposite to I2. So, in fact, I am substituting the value of I2 from equation I2 is equal to 5 by 8 V2. So, just some substituting the value of I2 here. With this 8, 8 gets cancelled and I will be left with minus 5 V2 by 10. In fact, it becomes minus 1 by 2 V2. With this, I am going to get Y12 is equal to I1 by V2 at input voltage is equal to 0. So, it is the value is nothing but minus 1 by 2 Siemens or minus 0 0.5 Siemens. So, this I am treating as equation 10. Now, for this pi network, we got the y parameters which is equal to 3 by 4, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, pi by 8 or into decimals the value is 0 0.75 minus 0.5, minus 0.5 and 0 0.625 MOS or Siemens. So, this is how we find out the y parameters for pi network. In our uh, later classes, we are going to see some more numericals on Z parameters and Y parameters. We will also see the problems which are involved with dependent sources. And later on, the transformation of one parameter with another parameter and followed by cascade connections. So, I hope you like this video. Please share among your friends, subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.